All right, we're uh, here with Max Chapman in Ottawa, a Mercury Lounge Sunday night sessions type thing. Uh, cold for you to come in, or you know, you seem to catch us on a little bit of an okay spot at the moment. I mean, it was pretty cold when I first arrived, but I've got used to it now. Where were you come from? I heard it was a pretty late night last night. Um, so last night I was in Brooklyn um, at a club called Analog, which was an awesome club. And yeah, it, it was uh, fairly late. I actually thought my gig today was tomorrow and, found, and checked my flight about <laughs> three hours before the flight just to see what time it was and just made it. So I was, I was lucky. Well, we got a good night coming up here, and Mercury is always a very strong, mature crowd of people who are really into the sound uh, and, and like to experience things. Do you find yourself that you play to the room, or do you play for what you want to, or is it really a combination of the both? Um, yeah, I guess it's a combination, because, um, I mean, a lot of the time, I like to, especially when I'm this side of the world, I like to try and play a lot of my own music, so... I guess it's a bit of a risk sometimes, but um, obviously if, if nothing's happening, then I, I'm going to have to change what's going on and see if we can move in another direction. Do you find that there's a big difference between, say, playing North America versus South America, Europe, Asia? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, the difference. Like, um, I'm quite lucky, actually, because my sound's a little bit in between house and tech house, so um, some places like it housey, some places... Place, places like tech house some like it are obviously tougher but everywhere i go i seem to fit in but there are some places where they're just absolute crazy i mean south america is just crazy they they're 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 a different breed a different breed of people is there a place that you haven't had a chance to go to that you'd like to experience um yeah asia actually yeah i've, I've never ever had a gig in in um have i had a gig in asia i don't think i've ever had a gig in asia no never i'd love to go over there do you ever find yourself, you show up to one night and you're expecting something and then things are just completely different and you have to adapt to it? Or do you have a sense that you've been touring enough, you understand who you're working with, who's booking you, that you'll, you'll fit and you'll slide into what's supposed to happen? I've been pretty lucky lately. Uh, early, uh, the earlier days were a bit tougher, but I think, um, I think the promoters and my agent are, kind of understand one another and... I usually do fit in and I'm usually playing with on lineups with if 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 not on the same night on the same shows as the people I'd play in with you know Europe and in in England so um I think I think between them they can sort it out and they kind of know what to expect and then it helps me know what to expect Did you always think or hope that this would be something you'd find yourself doing I mean, it feels like more than 24 hours a day, and some days it technically would be. Or did you think maybe your path would take you in another direction? Um, I never thought in a million years I would be doing this. Um, it started off as a hobby. Um, I lived in Australia, actually, when I first started making music, and I ended up leaving Australia because I think in, t in uh, a year of being there, I played about two gigs. So um, I left to come home, and really focus on it and somehow we've ended up here <laughs> god knows how if you if you weren't doing this what do you think you'd have found yourself in um i'll probably still be a plumber make some pretty good money probably close to what you're doing or better here than here so is there anything musically that you have coming out new that you're looking forward to or uh something that you would like to attempt to get into um well i've just uh signed a new re relief ep and at the, at the moment, I've got um, a record out called Addicted that's a little bit different. It's got more of a two-steppy um, groove to it, not 4-4 four, four beat. That seems to be doing really well, considering it's like a crossover track. Pete Tong signed it to FFRR, uh, full frequency range recordings. Yeah, surprisingly, it's doing very, very well. Um, it started out as me and Jackie were just in the had a date in the studio and... We were making Tech House every single day, you know, and we just f fancied a change. So we, um, I mean, the drums are only, f there's literally a kick, a hat and a clap, and the rest is just synths so, and, and a vocal. So it was fun to do something really different, and um, it's actually opened my eyes and made me realise that I can go in different directions and 
try new things so we never know I've, i am writing an album at the moment so hopefully everyone will like the different direction that's going in Excellent. And I guess my final question is, is there someone that you have recently discovered or have known that you think he or she should get some more recognition for the work that they are doing? Um, so my partner um, uh, in crime that I run my label with is George Smedals, and he has got a very, very unique sound. And um, he's really, really come to life in the last year or so with releases on Solar and Relief and on Resonance are they able to and um, he's definitely one to watch like, I can't believe how he's grown in that small amount of time so if you get some time definitely check him out Awesome, thanks so much and best of luck on here and uh, hopefully a couple of days of uh, rest when you get home and I'm sure you'll be back at it for the rest of the year Yeah, <laughs> there's, not, yeah there's not much rest but I mean, that, that's, that's about as good as you get the five hours I just got in the hotel. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for having me, man.